Sanji right now, and we just got off from the train, and the car truck is right over there, Kef One, so we're gonna head over right now. It's about a 10 minute walk. Let's do this. So, this is the way to Kef One, and I've had lots of good memories at this track. Uh, it's one of the very first few tracks that I drove when I started driving international races, and it's a very narrow track, very, very, very different from what I usually do at a race at. And lots of memories. I even remember this is when I first did my international X30 race. And it was raining, condition was really bad. And I remember finishing P5 on that very first international race that I did. Uh, and yeah, this is the walk I usually take every morning because I remember back then it was so expensive to take a taxi from the hotel to the cart track. So we'd always have to save up on budget and uh, yeah, just take the train every day, even though it's such a long walk and such a hassle, but you just gotta power through it to keep on racing, I guess. Looking back, the past six months, I've been flying to all these countries all across Europe and racing and driving. And to be here now, where it really all began for me, where I was at rock bottom, like I had to go through much ex so much extent just so I could continue on racing and saving up the money. And I would actually always remember that Kranju's weather was always so unpredictable. Like whenever we were in this area, the rain, the sun, it's like all just mixed up together. So you'd never actually find out if the race was gonna be postponed or it was gonna be a green flag. So that was always funny because I would, would always pray that it would always stop raining because rain hasn't always really been my strongest strongest suit so I'd always wait I would always pray for a dry race and everything and and whenever it would rain it would always be chaos like no one would ever make it the first corner and I, that's so funny and like as a kid I'd always been very emotional because I just had so much love for the sport so whenever I wouldn't get a good finish or whenever I wouldn't finish at all I would always end up crying and this is my path going into the train station so I'd use this time to cry my heart out <laughs> after a bad race or whenever I didn't get a trophy or a podium and that was always funny. And I remember the last time I was here was back in 2019 when I went over for a kart race and seeing how far along we've come and <laughs> just racing in the international stage and racing all over the place it's kind of um, a massive experience and just overwhelming really to be back here again and leading up to the Singapore race when I would never have expected to be back here again really you know like when the calendar was announced we were gonna switch over to Singapore I was just so happy because most of my friends are here almost everyone that I grew up with in racing is here and it's just so glad to be closer to home with no background in cars and straight out from karting. This is really where I learned all my fundamentals and basics and basically grew up here. You know, I always enjoyed racing here in Singapore. It's one of my favorite countries here in Asia. So it's definitely heart melting to be back here again. I mean, I made most of my childhood here and you know, racing has been a huge part of my life. And, and you know, like this track is very narrow. It's, it's very small, but every part and every corner is filled with very good memories as I grew up. and. And yeah, it just brings back so many things. Uh, everything's like flooding back to me. I even remember all the funny things that I used to do when I was younger and all the antics and all the fun bits. And I even remember that I would always uh, drop my chain during pre-practice or qualifying. I would always use every bit of, uh, every bit of the curb to gain maximum time and to get faster and faster. And that would always cost me to drop my chain so my friends would always make fun of me for dropping my chain and, and yeah, just so many memories and so much fun times. <laughs> 